Good evening, everyone, and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh, and tonight I am reviewing Adobe. And let's take a look at it. For those of you that have been in the live trading room, I called Adobe to gap up in the earnings. That's exactly what happened. Unfortunately, it did not follow through on the gap up. Why? Well, the earnings were Thursday night a week ago from tomorrow. Gosh, has it been a week already? Jeez, time just flies. So it gapped up here, open, rallied, made an all-time high. From the close of the day of the Thursday night, it closed at approximately $89, just to give you an idea, and it opened the next day at $92.51. There's nothing taking away from the fact that this actually had a very significant move to gap up, $3.50. Boom, that's it. But on the live day, if you tried to do anything with this, quickly, 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 as far as a rally, you you got stopped out and you would have to buy it later. It had a nice rally intraday after it's at the low of the day. I'm just gonna this here. <coughs> I'm going all the way back. This is Friday. You, you would have had to be patient. I don't do well with that, but <laughs> if you were patient, and waited for the confirmation at 9.45, 10 o'clock, or even 11 o'clock, and bought it on the 15-minute chart. The stock had a beautiful rally, huge rally on the day, and it was long. Gapped up then on Monday morning, followed through higher, quick, quick move up, made another all-time high on Monday. No, this was actually Tuesday. I'm sorry. It was Tuesday that it did it. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Every day runs together. This was Tuesday. This was Wednesday. We had the minutes announcements tonight. My prediction for Adobe is it gaps up tomorrow with the market and rallies to another all-time high. High of today was at the close was 95.66, so we basically closed. Well, we closed at 56. High was 66. We really, this counts as a close at a beautiful, beautiful high. So we are closing tonight on Adobe into the post market at a brand new all-time close for Adobe. So next target is 97.50, $98, 100 bucks for Adobe. When does it get there? It, it, it actually could get there by Friday. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm telling you the market will fall through higher tomorrow on Thursday. And the idea of Adobe rallying $2 with the market and Adobe as market stock is 100% reasonable and not a dream target. Dream target is 100. Could this stock run four and a half dollars in the day? Yes. Could it run $3 on a normal day? Yes. How do I know? All you have to do is go back and look at the average move of the stock. Here is a $3 move. Here is a $3 move. Here is another nice move. Every day this stock moves. It's been waiting, waiting, waiting to do it. Unfortunately, the day of the earnings when I expected it to do it and move through the high, the market gapped down that day, and Adobe is a market stock. It's something to consider whenever you're looking to do trades. But it's a good one. So if you would like, I'm giving you a call. If you know how to do options or place the trade or want to watch Adobe for a long tomorrow on Thursday, December 17th. I'm telling you that Adobe into the open could have a long option call with a strike price of 97.50, which I believe it gets through tomorrow. So target would be 98 and then 100. Expiration's Friday. You're looking to get the move within two business days, okay? Price, if you can get it between 15 cents and 25 cents or even 30 cents is a great risk reward, why? At 97.50 tomorrow, this should be worth $1.25 or thereabouts, and at 98, more. So it's a quick, quick, quick day trade or one day option trade if you want to do Adobe. So for example, I'm just giving the risk reward. If you wanted to buy 10 contracts at 20 cents, I'll make it easy, and risk $200 in Adobe, the stock price could rally and your profit could be $1,000. Does this make sense? That's a five risking a trade. Worst case, four risking it. No, that's not true. Worst case, you lose $200, all that you risk in the trade. But there's, I just can't see that happening. The market's gonna rally tomorrow, the market's gonna gap up, Adobe's gonna gap up with the market, it's a market stock, and run and rally, and it closed beautifully today. So there you have it. Content, <laughs> as they call in TV land, la la TV land, I'm just giving you a content and a call Right now, tonight at 5.55 on Adobe, if I was doing the live television show tonight, appointment television, I'd say Adobe is a great option trade tomorrow. Into the open, you can put your order out 
and actually have the order sitting to fill you. And, and I would put it, I would really put it between 20 and 25 to make sure you get in. Even at 25, even at 30, this is a great train because if this sucker runs up $2, which is not even a normal move of the day, to 97.50 or 98, it will be worth a buck. And, and it's a nice move. Whip the momentum into the momentum and you sell it into the momentum. Nice, nice read I have on the scab. I, I wish it would have made this move that it's making right now last Friday. What are you going to do? You know, I still called it 100% accurate in the direction of bias. And how did I know? Because I know how to read charts and I know how to read price and I know how to read gaps. If you want to learn how to read gaps with me, the class is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Email me and Melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great night, everyone. And this has a good, good risk to reward for a two-day option trade in Adobe with the market. Have a great night.